today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the brand new Arch Linux on your computer in just a few minutes. This simple guide will help you quickly install and set up your favorite desktop environment on any PC or laptop. Now for demonstration, I will be installing Arch Linux on my laptop running latest Windows 11 operating system. I have allocated a dedicated and empty drive for this purpose. There, I will be installing Arch Linux. Now, this setup will result in a dual boot configuration with both operating systems running from separate drives. However, if you prefer to install Arch Linux alongside Windows 11 on the same drive, I have included a link to the video in the description down below. Now, simply follow that video and check it out. Now with that being said, it's time to get started with the Arch Linux installation process. Now first, head over to the Arch website and click on download button from the top right corner. Then choose the closest mirror to your location. And download the latest ISO file. Then download Rufus to burn the ISO file to the USB drive. You can also use Etcher or Ventoy drive. Then connect your USB stick to your computer. Now open Rufus. Select the USB device and import the Arch Linux ISO file. I'm going to choose the partition scheme as GPT as this laptop uses UV BIOS mode with the GPT partition scheme. Next, follow the prompts and accept to start creating a bootable USB with Arch. This will take some time depending on the writing speed of your USB device. Once it's done, it's time to boot the system into BIOS. You can turn off the PC and boot into BIOS settings using the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly it could be F2, F9 or the escape key. In my case, my computer has booted into the startup menu and I'm going to press F10 to access the BIOS menu. In the UV BIOS, Turn on USB boot and disable secure boot. Then change the boot order and set the USB drive as the first option. Once it's done, save the changes. Now your system will boot into Arch from the USB drive. If it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load Arch install media. Now on your monitor, you will see a terminal expecting for input. Now keep in mind that the mouse functionality is disabled and you need to rely on the keyboard. Then type this command to increase the size of the console. Press enter to execute the command. Before installing Arch Linux, make sure your computer is connected to the internet. If you are using built-in Wi-Fi support, use the IWCTL to connect to the internet. Now simply type IWCTL in the terminal to enter shell mode. Then type device list to view available network interfaces. Now look for WLAN0 and ensure it's turned on. If it's off, Enable it by typing this command. Then type station WLAN0 get networks to see the list of Wi-Fi networks. Next, run the command station WLAN0 connect and enter your Wi-Fi network name. Then press enter key and type your Wi-Fi password. Now wait for 5 seconds and press enter to connect to the internet. You might not see any output, that means the connection was successful. Now exit the IWD mode 
And that's it, you have successfully connected to the internet. Finally, run the ping command to make sure you are receiving the packets. Now type this command to synchronize the package databases. Then install Arch Linux Keyring and Arch Install Packages by running this command. It's time to format the drive and prepare it for the Arch installation. Type lsblk to view a list of all connected drives. In my case, devsda is the drive where I want to install Arch Linux. It's important to be careful and make sure that you are formatting the appropriate drive. Once you have confirmed the correct drive, run the command gdisk devsda to launch the gdisk. Replace SDA with your disk identifier. In the gdisk tool, press X to enter the expert mode and then press Z to erase the drive. Now follow the prompts to complete the drive erasing process. Now at this point, the drive def SDA should be a brand new and free of any partitions. Now run the arch installer script by typing arch install and press enter. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options and press enter to select. Then set the system language. Then choose your local. In my case, I'm leaving the first three options at their default values. Next, choose disk configuration, select partitioning, and choose the first option. Now choose the drive you want to install Arch Linux. In my case, it's dev SDA. Now select the drive by pressing either the spacebar or the tab key. You will see an asterisk between the square brackets to indicate that the drive has been selected. Now choose the BTRFS file system. Now choose sub volumes and use compression. Then select back to return to the main menu. Now enable swap. Then choose bootloader and select grub. After that, set the hostname as Arch Linux and set the password for the root user. Next, create a new user account and make sure to add it to the pseudoverse list for elevated privileges. Once it's done, scroll down and select confirm and exit. It's time to install the desktop environment. Select profile type and choose desktop. Arch install offers a variety of options, but for this demonstration, I will choose GNOME Desktop. Next, select the graphic drivers you want to install. If you have an Intel iGPU, choose Intel Open Source. And if you have AMD GPU, choose AMD. If you are using a brand new NVIDIA RTX graphics card, select proprietary drivers. Otherwise, use the default Navu driver. Next, move to applications, enable Bluetooth, and choose Pipefire as your audio server. If you want, you can install extra kernels. But for now, I will stick with the default one. Next, go to Network Configuration and select the last option. Finally, set your time zone. And that's it. Next, select install and wait for a few minutes for the script to perform its magic.
Once it's done, you will see a prompt for post installation steps. Now select this option to enter the CH root environment and start setting up your new Arch Linux installation. Now it's time to install some GUI applications like Firefox, Haruna, LibreOffice, and other essential packages. After that, exit the chroot environment. Once done, shut down the system using this command and remove the USB drive. And that's it, Arch Linux is now successfully installed. When you turn on your computer, you will see the grub menu. Now from here, you can boot into Arch Linux. It's time to add the Windows boot entry to the Grub Boot menu. Just go ahead and type this command to edit the Grub configuration file. And set the default Grub timer to 30 seconds. Then scroll to the bottom and remove the hashtag from this statement. If you don't set the OS Prober value to false, Grub won't be able to find the Windows Boot Manager or add it to the Grub menu. Once it's done, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and hit Enter and exit with Ctrl plus X. Then type this command to install OS Probar. Now run this command to update Grub. And you can see it found the Windows Boot Manager. Then reboot your system. Now you can use the Grub menu to boot into Arch or Windows 11. And that's how you can quickly and easily install Arch Linux in just a few minutes using the Arch install script. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or queries, do post them. And thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.